Ever since hundreds of tons of oil began spewing into the Bay of Plenty and washing up on the shore, beaches here have been filled with devastated locals and wayward shipping containers instead of frolicking tourists. One of New Zealand's most popular domestic holiday destinations was just beginning to usher in the high season when the Rena, a container ship carrying everything from bags of meat patties to oil and dangerous chemicals, crashed into a reef on October 5th. It's moving into summer, and this is when the crowds will come to Mount Maunganui. Um, and the fishing, well, we've already cancelled a major fishing competition which we've coming up in a fortnight because of the danger of uh, the flotsam out there and the possibility of hazards. 88 containers have fallen off the ship so far, and hundreds of tons of oil have poured into this coastal area that is usually teeming with bird and marine life. I would say it's going to affect it quite badly. Uh, even this week being the school holidays, we've had people want to cancel because they think they're coming down here to wear gas, gas masks from Auckland. Many worry that the biggest maritime disaster in New Zealand's history will tarnish the country's clean green brand. The remedy, in my view, is a very rapid clean-up uh, so we can have those new images going out around the world uh, that the place is cleaned up and it is ready uh, for our very important visitor industry. But the process will be long and arduous, especially as many volunteers are finding thick black oil every morning on the same sand they combed clean just the night before.